In this segment, I'm going to show you how to make Motif. And that's found under the Embroidery drop-down menu. Here's the option that says Make Motif. But before I can use that, I obviously need to create something first. Something that we could use as a motif. And I was thinking to create a little heart that we could have as a little heart motif. But first, I need to digitize a heart. And I'm not a great freehand digitizer, so for lack of artwork, I'm just going to go to my embroidery gallery and show you that here I have a gallery, a motif in my embroidery gallery that if I choose it, and then I'll just use it here, you can see now I've placed this motif on my screen and it's actually a group of objects. So what we see as one object is actually a group of small objects. And what I'm going to do is just go to my edit drop down menu and choose ungroup. That breaks them all apart. And so now I can choose that heart as being an individual object, not part of the group. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually just select the remaining portion of that motif and delete it from my screen. So here's the heart that I was after. Whoops, I didn't mean to open its properties. I just wanted to center it on my screen and get a little bit closer to it. Now imagine creating this as a motif. And one of the things that I want it to do is I want to be able to plan how the embroidery would start right here and kind of finish over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the object, choose reshape, and I'm going to change the stitch angle to be right on that zero stitch direction. And I'm going to move the starting point to, let's say, right here. And I'm going to place the exit point directly across from that starting point right about here. So that's what the motif will look like. And now that I've created this motif, I'm ready to go and actually, all I've really created is an embroidery object of heart. And what I now want to do is select embroidery and make motif to create an actual motif from this heart. So I choose make motif and this is the box that comes up. And so it gives me the ability to choose where I want to save the motif. Now I've created my mo my very own motif set and I just called it Trevor's set. You have the the sets that came with the software, so you have embroidery gallery or black work, and I could add this to the embroidery gallery set, or I could add this to the black work set, but I'm just going to leave it in my own set, and you can create your own new set with your own new set name, with your name, or maybe this is the set that you use for certain jobs like your lace set or whatever. Anyway, I've got a set called Trevor Set, and I'm going to give my motive a name, so we'll call this Heart, just simply Heart. And I'm going to say OK. Now it asks me, before I complete making the motif, it tells me down at the bottom to digitize the first reference point. And I need to put in two reference points. And basically they represent um, the line. In other words, if you used this motif along a run line, where does the line sit? Do you want the heart to sit above the line? In which case I would put digitize point here and here. Do you want it to be below the line? I would put my points here and here. Or in this case, I'm going to put my points where I had planned them for the line to travel right through the center of the heart. So here and there. One, two, enter. And it says heart has been created. Okay, great. So let's just test that out and see how it turned out. So I'm going to choose my motive run line tool. And I'll go ahead and digitize one two points and when I hit enter there's my heart repeated along that motive run line. So that's awesome and for example if I wanted to I could choose a motive parallel fill and go ahead and draw ourselves a little piece of rectangle fill and now the motive is not the current motive so I'll need to select that first and open up the mo the the object details for this motive fill and here I need to change my pattern set from the embroidery gallery set to be Trevor set and when I choose Trevor set lo and behold there's the heart that we just created so I'll choose that and say okay and say okay and so there now I've created a heart and that heart repeats over and over inside of my motive fill so that's the option it's called make motive and in general, it's under the embroidery drop-down menu. When you choose Make Motif, 
you need to define two reference points. And like I was showing you, it, depending on how you want these blocks to line up, I placed my reference points here and here. And that's why when you look at the line that I digitized, the heart travels along the line along there. So had I created a heart, in fact, why don't I just do that? I'm going to create the heart motive again. Embroidery, make motive. Trevor set, we'll call this one heart bottom because it's going to join along the bottom. And I'll say OK. Now it wants me to digitize those reference points, and so I'm going to put them along the bottom. Reference point one and reference point two. And now heart bottom has been created. And so again, just to show and confirm what I'm talking about, if I create a mode of run line, just put in one, two points and hit enter, those hearts travel along the same line, except for there's the line that I drew and the hearts are sitting clearly above that line versus this uh, motif where the hearts sit in the center of the line. So it's just a very subtle difference, but that's why it asks you to digitize the reference points when you create a motif. So one more tip I can give you is if you want your motifs to be able to be used with your embroidery gallery tool, your kind of rubber stamp tool, then you need to save your motifs specifically in the embroidery gallery options. Um, otherwise, you can create your own motive sets and you can, you'll find that you can create some very interesting um, motives that will really speed up and create beautiful embroidery. So anyway, that's how to use the Make Motive tool.